Hello, beautiful friends, and welcome. Rainy days call for thrift shopping. What are we looking for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> We're just hanging out. <laughs> Eva. There is something so whimsical about an oil lamp. It gives off Little House on the Prairie vibes. I've really been wanting one, but I don't know much about it. If you have any experience, let me know in the comments. But this beautiful amber jar was so gorgeous. I wish I grabbed it, but I couldn't really justify $25. Next up, we are at the basket section. I loved this one. It was so beautiful. I just loved how open and airy it was. It would be perfect to style some plants as well as this one. These baskets were so cheap. They were anywhere from $1.50 to $5, but never have I seen cheaper baskets than this store. I know that a lot of you have said that this is a mormon store and not to support it but honestly i just think that the value is great here the people are really nice the store is clean and i've been here one time and then decided to take my girls here with me it like teaches you how to cook like it teaches you what to do like what to chop off mm. okay so this that sounds like good Showed you step by rice. step, which is good. And then pasta and rice. So it's like a cooking class, but in a book. Okay, let's take them if you're going to use them. Here are two of my sisters. We are shopping together. It's so fun to be able to shop together, you know, even after having kids and living our own lives. Oftentimes I find myself saying no because there are other things that I need to do with kids, but honestly, I find it so important to say yes when people invite you because oftentimes we just get so busy with our lives that we disconnect ourselves from people and other human connection that you kind of isolate yourself so i know for me at least i know i'm around people all the time you know taking kids here there pick up drop off all of that but pouring into yourself and actually saying no for yourself if you get busy with your spouse or with your children grandchildren whatever it might be say yes to the things that really make you happy i know that this is a simple thrift trip but it was fun to thrift with my sisters and with my daughters as well just not really taking yourself serious and just having fun you know enjoying yourself that's how life should be you know what i mean this store had quite a few of these cheese slicing boards they were only two dollars comparing to 20 to 25 on amazon I thought this jar would be perfect because it's short and wide to propagate my potho plant that is not doing so well. If you are in need of furniture, definitely stop by your local thrift store and take a look there before you head to the new furniture store. Now here I'm showing you some beautiful options that they have for picnic blankets. I love to shop the thrift store for picnic blankets. They are a great option and very affordable and I'm not really afraid to get it dirty. 
At the very back of the store, they have this yard area situation. Now, don't miss this. They have so much more stuff here. Lots of furniture, lots of suitcase. Also, a lot of workout gear. They have toys. I mean, you name it, it's there. I can't believe that I didn't pick up this mirror. It was only $5. So beautiful. I could have used it for sure. My daughter found this cute pink sweater to go with her hat, but look at the rain. But now we're heading to the fitting room to try all these things on. Do you like it, Ellie? It's so cute. Do you like it? I wish she had gotten those shoes because they were real leather and were very expensive when we looked them up, but she ended passing on it. You know, I forgot to mention, I filmed this video about a month ago. I thought I included it in the Easter basket video that I made for the kids, but apparently I didn't. This was filmed during spring break, so we had lots of time with the kids. And when we were walking out, crazy enough, there was a father with two daughters that stole a full shopping cart of things. That was just crazy to watch. After all that thrift shopping, we headed to my sister's house. She lives down the street from me for some ice cream and much needed coffee. My parents love chocolate, so I had to grab them some chocolate ice cream, but my sister is moving. We are all so sad, but we came to help her. Love you. <laughs> nah, mama. Love you. I love my parents so much and just watching that video gets me all emotional because of how much their health has deteriorated in the past month. It's so nice to see them, you know, even a month ago, so lively and happy and just full of life, you know. Here my sister is showing her thrifted t-shirts that she bought for working out and this place is much cheaper than Goodwill coming in at only three dollars per t-shirt this clip right here is just a reminder that we are not guaranteed our health we're not guaranteed tomorrow so if you have someone in your life hug them a little tighter and love on them give them your time because it's not a guarantee I've mentioned before that I have eight sisters, but this sister in particular, Larissa, she has been my ride or die girl. We were roommates when I was 18 years old and went to beauty school. She has lived across the street, like down the street from me for over six years now. She is my sister by blood, but best friend by choice. Did I mention she's moving to a different state? I'm really happy for her and the new adventures that are to come, but I am so sad for me. It's been about two weeks since she's moved and I still find myself thinking, oh, I'll stop by her house for a cup of coffee or think I'm going to pack her some of the dinner that I made for my family and share with her. But things are different now. I miss her so much and I can't wait for the kids to be out of school so we can take a road trip and visit her. I am going home with a big box of goodies that she no longer needs. Goodies. What are those goodies? Thrifting for free at sister's house. <laughs> we left our house around 11 a.m. and my kids said, mom, we better not come home around 9 p.m. And of course it's almost 10. Hello, beautiful friends and welcome to the haul portion of this video. Now I'm gonna show you all the stuff I was able to snag from my sister's house with the move and then just a couple things from the thrift store. Now I did use all most of this stuff for my kids' Easter baskets, but the first thing is this beautiful outdoor patio little side table. This is wicker it's not wicker because it's not wood it's more like a plastic because it's water resistant 
and I know exactly where it's gonna go. I was surprised that she didn't want to bring it with her, but it's definitely gonna go into my patio so I can actually put my coffee on here when I'm out there in the morning. But love that for me, and the cherry on top is I didn't have to pay for it. The next thing I was always eyeing in her house is this beautiful amber vase or I don't know what this is but how pretty are these daisies on here and this design right here just really reminds me of like my grandma's house I don't really know but I thought this was really really pretty now she also was getting rid of these beautiful stems these little tiny roses and you know I love the color yellow so I was really happy about that. If you've seen around my home a little bit in my videos, you know that I have a lot of real plants. So it's difficult for me to get faux stems, whether they're flowers or some greenery, but I thought these were just really tastefully made. And I thought maybe I could try it in here and really just style it this way. I kind of like my flowers a little wild but I thought that was so cute. Let me know what you think, if this goes together or if I should find something different. And how would you style this? Like, do you think it just goes on its own or should I have something in it? So that's two stems. Then the next thing, when I saw her thrift this, cause we always send each other pictures of what we're thrifting. I said, if you ever get rid of this, it is going to be mine. And sure enough, she offered it to me. I thought this was the most sweetest, dainty, little adorable jar. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for because I already have one for sugar, but maybe coconut sugar, we'll see. Maybe even like some mini M&Ms or Skittles, you know, just to kind of have. We'll see, I thought it was so, so precious. Now these, this was from, the thrift store and I love this dish. It is oven safe so I just put my brie cheese on here, drizzle some honey or put some jam, stick it into my little conventional oven and then you serve it right then and there. I don't have to transfer it, I don't have to deal with the mess. So love that and that was only two dollars. I'm telling you that thrift store is so cheap like it's cheaper than any of the of the goodwills or stores that um i've been to in my area the next thing we have are these beautiful silver i don't know what they are we use them for floral arrangements as you can see the green foam or whatever that is left in there we made the most beautiful arrangements for I think it was my dad's 70th birthday so I thought that was so pretty but you know she is getting rid of a lot of stuff because here she was you know hosting a lot and really involved in family events but moving to a different state is going to be really different you know she doesn't know anybody there so I don't think there's going to be much hosting going on unless people are visiting from California the next thing she was getting rid of is this pot. I love the little legs on them and the drainage hole. I just don't like the color on here. So I do want to paint it, but I need to make it weatherproof, like waterproof, because I think I'm going to use it out in my patio. Do you guys know if Mod Podge makes it waterproof if I paint it? because that's what I had in mind, but I'm not 100% sure. As you saw in the video, I did pick this beautiful little jar or vase, whatever you wanna call it, from the thrift store. But then my sister was getting rid of this one. If I knew I would have had this one, I wouldn't pick this one up. But I am going to use this to propagate some of my potho plants. Potho, potho, however you say it, but two dollars i mean it's it's a great deal she gave away five i think of these jars and my my daughter already used it for her little garden but these are perfect just for like a smoothie or something you know 
kids don't really drink huge amounts anyway so I thought that was great the next thing we got are five of these five or six I don't remember I honestly didn't want any of her um, you know glasses like these for instance but my every time my kids go over to my sister's house she always serves them orange juice in this or you know she puts together some kind of cocktail like pineapple juice with cranberry and her fancy um ice you know so they're used to having like beautiful glassware from her home and I couldn't say no. They they would not take no for an answer. So I got these, a few of these. I really do like that little detail. But I just don't know where I'm gonna put it, honestly. I don't have enough space in my cabinets and my older daughter is the one who's in charge of dishes. She gets so annoyed when there's like an overflow of everything. She just doesn't know where to put anything, you know? And I get it, so I might have to like go through some of the stuff and get rid of things. Now, I also got, I don't even know what this is. I looked in, there's like no name, it just barcode, but there's nothing in here. It came with like some wood, so honestly, I'm gonna have to ask her what this is because I have no idea. I don't know and then there are a few things that she wasn't able to sell that are like bigger pieces that I just stored in my garage and I will be probably selling them on like offer up or Facebook marketplace I also got a beautiful large gray pot that my daughter already planted a tomato in so maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek of that I'm so excited because we already have tomatoes in our garden. Um, but yes, this was a very emotional move for me. Like I mentioned before, me and my sister have been so close our whole life. You know, we've had like a love-hate relationship, you know, where we would fight and then we would be friends. She was a year older than me and she has brown hair, dark brown hair, dark eyes, and then kind of like more olive skin and then for me I had well, I was like a toehead blonde hair blue eyes very very fair skin so we were like the complete opposite but we were people would ask if we were like twins so it was it was fun growing up you know and then we were roommates when I was 18 and she lived across the street from me for a long time, so it was a very bittersweet moment, you know. It's still kind of difficult to not have her around, and then summer's coming around. We always went paddle boarding together, and we would take road trips to San Francisco, and we would take waterfall hikes. I mean, there was lots of adventure and lots of late night late night hangouts you know whether it's around the table at my house or on the couch at her house but it's tough you know it's tough but i'm excited to visit her and just hang out you know that's why i say you know don't take for granted the relationships and friendships that you have that are near to your home because you just never know the change that can come, you know, and I'm so happy for her. This opportunity is amazing and there's so much that she has to offer this world and the corporate world, but you know, it's not easy, but enough before I start crying again. Um, anyways, I hope that this kind of inspires you in some way, shape, or form, you know, friendships are special and invest in them while you can because our health isn't guaranteed, tomorrow isn't guaranteed, we just never know. Um, so yeah, just remember to live life beautifully today.